Last time they lost the home game was back in March in the regular season. And they showed once again how tough has to go towards the rim, putting more pressure on Jokic as a defender. And was their leading scorer in game one. As Struess knocks it down. How about that for Struess? Oh, Jimmy Butler had his lowest scoring game of the playoffs. Just 13 points in game one. He vowed to be so much more aggressive. Gabe Vincent. And he knocked down and missed their first four shots. Vincent, one of the rare Heat players who shot well the other night, knocks down his first second half of game one. Nugget crowd trying to get him fired up. They stand. Most of the crowd stands until they score. Jokic. The Nuggets, one of the reasons they're so good at home is their defense is so much better here in Denver. Spruce. Out of mile. The jump shot after jump. And so you have to try to make them score. You mentioned that about Jokic in the last game, Mark. Jokic, oh, gorgeous pass from Gordon. That's what Denver only had 10 the entire game one. Out of mile. Soft touch is good. Empty. Jokic, plenty of times, sets, fires, and hits. Caldwell Pope now on Butler. Good hands from Caldwell Pope to deflect it. Butler now drives on Caldwell Pope, gets inside. Shot is good. Bruce Brown also in there for the first time for Denver. Set up on the shot clock. Jokic goes right at Kevin Love and scores. Gordon drives on Struess, gets inside, finds Porter, pushes up the three, that's good. Again, to making mistakes off of shooters after a bad game. You've got to make sure they continue to think about it. He's a wide open three, the definition in the NBA is there's no defender six feet or farther away. Zello goes inside and banks it in. Butler with a nice setup. Bruce Brown goes to the rim and finishes. It's reported at the top, Martin. Question before the game. I've been feeling sick last couple of days. Jokic running.